Okay, now it's time to put all of our knowledge to the test. Okay, I'm going to give you a challenge. Let's look at this factor spreadsheet here. Okay, let's say you wanted to find out, okay, the total or, or the which applicant, okay, which applicant actually received the total, like the most amount of money from factor in 2012. Okay, what if you wanted to figure that out? How could you figure this out? Okay, I've already sorted this. I've already sorted this data and it looks like, okay, Karis got $200,000. But what you might not notice is that some organizations have received multiple awards. Okay, so in this case, if you just look at this, Canadian Music Week actually got two awards. So if you added up 190 plus five, so we can't just, you know, we can't just go by the sorting here. We're actually gonna have to do a little bit of data management to figure this out. Okay, so how would you go about solving this problem? Okay, and I'll, I'll give you a hint. Everything that you know, everything that you need to do to solve this problem, I've done in the previous screencasts. So you should be able to figure this out. Okay, um, let me walk th you through how we would go about solving this problem. The first thing we need to do is we need to get a list of all the applicant names. That's the first thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select everything within the E column here. Okay, applicant. I'm going to select. Ah, Let's scroll down here, scroll down, 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 down. And there we go. There's everything in here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to use my trusty text strangler over here. I'm going to paste that in there. And what am I going to do now? Okay. Um, I'm going to, I could go ahead and sort those lines if I wanted to. There's nothing wrong with that. And then we see, hey, look at that. As we suspected, many applicants received multiple awards. Okay. Let's select all that. And how do we get rid of the duplicates? That's right. We go process duplicate lines. Make sure leaving one, delete duplicate lines, hit process. And there we go. We get a complete list of applicants who received awards from Factor or who were granted awards by Factor in 2012, the calendar year 2012. And that means that we've got a total of 869 applicants. Okay. So let's copy that and let's go to LibreOffice over here. Let's start up a new sheet. Okay. I'll actually call this um, applicants or applicant totals. Let's call it applicant totals. And I'll just go ahead and paste that here. Why not? That's just a command. Command V to paste, and that's fine. Everything is going to be here. That's going to be one per line. There we go. I'm going to double click on here just to get this to spread out. Okay, we've got our list here. Okay, that's good. I won't bother scrolling all the way to the bottom. We need to write our function now. Okay, so we're going to have to look things up again. This is where we can use the sum if function. So let's try that sum if function. Let's go sum if. And the nice thing is, if you don't remember the order in which you put things, you can just read the little tooltip here and just work through it uh, logically. The first, the first value here we have to put in is the range. So the range that we're looking at, this is the range. This is the, all the applicants, the list of applicants. So let's go find that column where all the applicants are listed, and that's under column E. So let's just identify that range. That starts at E2, and it goes all the way down to over here further down, further down, further down, further down. I'm not very good with the mouse today. All the way down to 1644. So there we go. It wrote that that out. You could have typed this out if you wanted to. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go comma. What is the criteria we're looking up? Okay. Let's go back to applicant totals here. The criteria is just the name of the applicant right here. So in this case, on this first line, we're going to just select A1. That's going to look up that the applicant name. Let's go comma. And then what do we want to add up? We want to add up the actual amount offered. So once again, we're going to go D2 all the way down to, ooh, here we go, D1644. Okay. And notice it put the, the sheet name in there for us. So that saved us a bit of typing. Let's close that, close that bracket and let's hit enter. And there's our first amount. So 21 entertainment group uh, received a total or was offered a total amount of, uh, of awards uh, totaling up to $42,500. Let's actually, just for now, let's convert this to currency. Let's get rid of a couple zeros here. Okay, what can we do? Can we just drag this all the way down? No, we can't because remember in the last screencast we talked about relative versus absolute addressing. What do we need to do? We need to lock the rows in right, for those ranges that we're looking at, the sum range and the criteria range. In this case, um, we're going to lock the row. What's the symbol to lock? It's the dollar sign. 
So we're going to lock that first one. We're not going to lock A1. We're not going to lock that because we want that row to change on every single one. We want that to change. Over here, we're going to lock this. We're going to lock that. Let's hit enter. It doesn't change that number, but guess what we can do now? What do you think we can do? Yeah, we're going to scroll this all the way down and check this out. Whoa, this is a big one. We're dragging it all the way down. And when I let this go, you're going to actually notice that this is actually going to take my computer a couple seconds to figure this out. Um, because you're actually asking the computer to do a whole lot of calculations, as you can imagine, right? It's doing all those lookups. Let's let go and just take a couple seconds. There we go. Those are all the amounts all figured out for you. Pretty cool, eh? Um, but that wasn't the problem. The problem was we wanted to figure out who got the most money. Who got the most money? Well, how would you figure that out? Yeah, you could just do a sort. So let's go data, sort. Um, there's no header row, right? We don't have any column labels, labels, so we don't need to identify that. We're just going to sort it by which column? We're going to sort it by column B. Are we going to sort it ascending or descending? We're going to do descending, and then we'll just click OK. And it takes a couple seconds. There we go, and we see that Canadian Music Week comes out on top. They were awarded $335,000 in the year 2012, followed fairly closely by Paper Bag Records. Uh, who was a, they were awarded $320,000 in the year 2012. Um, and it goes down. And you can see all the way down to whoever receives. So there you go. There's a practical application of all the stuff that we did. You could have done the exact same thing by artist if you wanted to. The only thing you probably would have noticed is that this NA for not applicable, definitely, <laughs> I, I feel pretty certain that they would have come in first. NA isn't a real band or artist name, obviously. That just means that there was no particular artist associated with that. Um, that applicant or that application. Um, so you could just ignore that NA or you could just not calculate the NA if you wanted to. Oh, one thing I didn't do was I didn't check to make sure that this is accurate. I didn't actually check this for errors. How would we check this for errors? Right, let's just do a sum. So let's just sum this up. We're looking for $13.8 million. And that's exactly what it is, $13.8 million. That number is identical to this, which tells me that I didn't make any mistakes. This is correct. All right. So I hope that that was useful to you. Um, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.